Have you ever had a beer that made your mouth pucker? If so, then you probably know one of our guests today, Jonathan Wakefield. He's an accomplished home brewer, to say the least. His riff on tart, refreshing, German-style Berliner Weiss brews has even been graced with its own subcategory, Florida Weisses. Wakefield uses dragon fruit, kiwi, melon, and all sorts of tropical ingredients to craft his highly rated Weiss brews. And he's about to be making a lot more of them. Jay Wakefield Brewing is currently under construction in Wynwood, set to open later this summer at 120 Northwest 24th Street. Expect craft brew fans to flock there for Wakefield's tart tropical ales, his hoppy IPAs, and his complex stouts. So I know you have some equipment in already. What's the latest with your brewery? Um, well, uh, first off, you know, I'm just glad that we're gonna be located in Wynwood, and uh, we are looking to open production in a month. Uh, this Tuesday, we actually installed all of our fermentation tanks. Um, the bar is almost done, uh, floors are almost done, so we're just ready to get rolling and get some beer out to the Miami scene. I bet you are, and I know people are waiting for it. So yeah. maybe late July, August, we'll be looking forward absolutely, to it. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, tell me about your Berliner Weisses. That's that's what you're most famous for, I would say. Right. What right. What is that style? Um, a Berliner Weiss is a style of beer that originated in the 16th century out of Berlin. It is classified as a sour, hazy wheat beer. Okay. And uh, we do we get the sourness for our beers uh, through the sour mash process. And they're low alcohol? Uh, yes, absolutely. And someone who's going to be helping you get them out to the, the public is Brett Hubbard, craft beer and specialty import manager from... Uh, Gold Coast Beverage. Thank you very much. We are one of the largest beer distributors in the country. We span from Tequesta down to Key West. And you've signed this guy on? We did. We're very proud because of his creativity. It brings a lot of diversity to a, to a Gold Coast portfolio. And uh, we have through his artistry and brewing, we're very proud to have him as a, someone who represents Miami. Glad to be part of the Gold Coast family, for sure. Well, one that will be coming is Can You Eat a Peach for Days, which we've poured here for, uh, for drink time. Jonathan, what can you tell us about this um, beer? This beer is uh, one of our Florida Weisses. It is a 50% wheat, 50% uh, Pilsner malt uh, that we have sour mashed and then added fruit during the fermentation process, which just happened to be uh, fresh Georgia peaches. So this beer rings in at 3.6% uh, ABV. And tell me about the Florida Weiss. Why, why do we call it a Florida Weiss? Because uh, basically flipped mm. the classic style on its head. Uh, instead of adding a fruit syrup to the glass as you would classically for a Berliner Weiss, we now actually add the fruit to the fermentation process. So it's a completely new subcategory. So there's almost a, a built-in sweetness to tame exactly. that tartness. Exactly. So what you're doing is actually creating a great palate profile by you know balancing sweet and and uh, sour. Right. So in terms of food, what would you what do you think we would pair? I with? believe that the acidity is the one of the main components of this beer, and yeah. it would work well with something great like a ceviche, which is very light mm. but has an acid profile into <sighs> itself. They tend to begat each other because of the resonance from the acidity. So acid yeah. on acid. Absolutely. And acid each other's out and gives you a full flavor of both. And that little bit of fruit. The the sum is greater than the two parts. <laughs> <laughs> you agree that we're anything else you would um, think of? What if we went the other way and like found something pretty like spicy or maybe a chorizo sausage? Yeah, absolutely. Because the nice fruit would cancel out the spiciness, yes. and then you would be able to, with the nice carbonation and acid, cut through actually, all the grease and right, the sausage. Right. Yeah. The acid from the beer would actually dull down the spiciness and actually create this new flavor, so right. that'd be great. Dynamic. Well, you could find Can You Eat a Peach for Days later this summer at Jay Wakefield Brewing in Wynwood. And until next time, on Brewing Miami, cheers. Cheers. cheers.